How you doing guys? You know who it is. Anyway, today is August the 21st, 2013. So anyway, uh, I was uh, talking to a friend a couple of days ago and uh, I asked her, because I was reading, I've been reading a book about, you know, females and it's funny that I realized that there are certain scents that, like smell scents, S C E N T, not scents as in money. Of course, scents drive for me, baby. You get a lot of scents. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so. Um, like, I asked her what scent does she like on men, and she told me. I thought it was interesting. And then uh, I asked her friend who was sitting right next to her. And she said, the same sense, you know. And they said there was something about, about it that just made them just go crazy. I'm like, wow. You know what I'm saying? So, that's awesome. Uh, I guess everyone has that little, like, you know, that twitch or that thing that drives them crazy, you know, pheromone wise or whatever. Like, I guess, like, when it comes to sense, it comes to your experiences. For example, when I was in college, there was this girl who uh, wore this uh, perfume. It smelled kind of like pine and, like, kind of like, like wood, like wood and pine together. But, oh, my gosh, she was wild. <laughs> she was really wild. And so... Whenever I smelled that scent, it reminded me of her, and old Michael was ready to do business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I have no idea what the name of that scent is, but that scent drives me crazy. So anyway, anyone who wears that scent, you know, pretty much drives me crazy. I have no idea what the scent was. No idea what the scent was, but I do know that that scent is really nice. Let me put you guys right here while I talk to you, because then I won't have to carry the camera because I kind of hate carrying the camera around. Even though I'm in the um, safety of my own home, I still hate carrying that camera. But yeah, I guess like different scents remind me of different women. Like it was this one girl who I had a really long relationship with. Um, she wore vanilla, and she always smelled like vanilla and laundry. So that scent reminded me of her. Come to think about it. I can't really remember the sense of any other woman. Just the one that was a really, really a sexual dynamo for me. I remember her, the pine and wood smell. And then the sweet, innocent, you know, cute but not super sexy. You know, there's a difference. A lot of people don't think there's a difference. There was this, there's a super difference between cute and sexy. Like, that's why guys don't like being called cute, you know. A girl will say, you're cute. You're like, jeez. Oh, Cute and sweet, you know, those are two things you don't want to use to describe a guy. Sexy, handsome, yes. Like, if a guy calls a girl cute, doesn't necessarily mean that he'll hop into bed with her or that he'll even kiss her, you know. She's cute or even get into a serious relationship with. Like, um, for example, uh, Sally Richardson, Sally Richardson with him. She is sexy. And Jenny Pinkett, she's cute, you know? Well, to other guys, they might go, well, screw that, man. Um, Jenny Pinkett is sexy, you know? It depends on the type of the guy. But if the guy you're trying to date calls you cute, <laughs> you might be heading towards the friendship zone. 
But that's a whole different uh, vlog. How much time do we got left? That seems like five minutes. Let me see. Oh, five minutes. Michael Richmond out here on August the 21st. Thank you for stopping in, guys. Bye.